a lot of people have spoken about um, the Premier League being the new Super League almost and the money that's there has created the best teams in Europe. One team's already gone out, Liverpool are struggling. Do you feel an extra kind of pressure because almost Europe looks at England and the Premier League as the kind of standard bearer? The Chelsea went, went through? No, I said one team went out, Tottenham went out. Well, we'll see what happened in Liverpool. Uh, honestly, I'm not thinking about... Uh, we have the pressure about defending the UK uh, in Europe. So this area, when uh, teams in the past go, you know, in the two or three or four teams in the quarterfinal, semifinals in country, and say, no, that is the best league in the world. So every league is special. So this league is really good, like it was in Spain, like it's in Italy, it's in Germany, and everyone has his own things. And because this competition, like if you're cup, like this competition, one game, two games, many, many things are involved, like uh, a way, something with the players itself, the managers of the club itself cannot control. It had on big fun to make a theories about, uh, it depends on the result, you are who you are. So I don't think so. Whenever you come in here for games like this, people talk about Man City have not won it. Clearly you've, you've won it. Is it still a special competition for you? Is it a different feeling or is it just for someone in your position, just another game on a Wednesday and then you... No, absolutely. It's a, a lovely competition, so nice competition. So playing the teams in another part of Europe and away from the, no routine, but you know, the same teams, same stadiums, same clubs here in England. Of course, it's a special competition. Of course, it's so nice to, to be there, to be in Europe and show our club all around Europe. It's so nice. Yeah, definitely it is. I like it. Pep, um, if I'm not mistaken, the last time you talked about Leipzig, you, you said people forget there is another team. They have quality. They can dream. Is it, is it, in a way, a burden that you have to carry that people think that City will always win three new, four new, even with, against the third place in Bundesliga? Yeah, but it's the same with many theories about this institution, this club. We cannot control it. So, in Paris, it's nice when they are in the start of the season Premier League and we are the main candidates and every time we never won this competition, every time we are the main favourites to win this competition. So, so, something good we have done in the past. Otherwise, the people cannot consider it. But the reality always speaks for itself. The reality is on the pitch, 95 minutes. And do your best against the teams like... Uh, because in, I'm in Leipzig, and I said when it's a draw, when I take, took a look a little bit, even before the first leg, I said, oh, they are, I think it's a really, really good team. But if I talk about any team in England, Champions League, or Napoli, or Milan, or... Uh, Real Madrid or the teams are there said they are good too. So every team in these stages they have, you know, a lot of qualities, many strengths and have to tomorrow in front of our people impose try to impose our game, what you have to do and, and bring the game. You have to win the game. So it's it's easy. It's not how many goals you have to score or how to do it. It's just win the game and that is what you have to do. Hi, Pep. Um, you've spoken to us a lot over the last few years about the importance of your role winning trophies. How important is it for you to go into the international break in a week or so's time still in the hunt for, for three trophies yeah, this year? Really important. It is. And what about... This? Not just for uh, will be a bad international break for the guys who don't go to the national team is for the fact to be alive, you know, for the last two months of the season, two months and a half, be alive. So as much you can extend this chance to be there in the competitions, to have the pleasure to still in Europe or in the Premier League to try to be close to Arsenal, so it will be good. And we see you put so much effort and passion into creating ways of your team playing and trying to produce these fantastic teams, but how much of a drive and a motivation is it for you to still win trophies, how much is that the motivation as opposed to perhaps building great teams that we've seen before? Yeah, that's why we're here. I, I didn't know any team, any manager, any players, like uh, you know, play a competition that try to win. So I didn't, 
I didn't meet once. So everyone wanna wanna didn't meet once. Everyone won it. There's not an exception here. Hi, Pep. Um, this weekend you spoke about Erling's uh, ability to uh, always reset after a chance missed. Um, you've been a player yourself. H how hard is it? How impressed are you with that specific mental quality? And compared to the big players you've managed, how does he rate? Have you have you seen anyone who has the same kind of ability to do that? Uh, I saw a lot, yeah. A lot. <laughs> Barcelona was many. In Bayern Munich as well, so a lot. Otherwise, we don't win titles. You just one player has this mentality in the other ones. You have the mentality to score a goal. Sometimes you are depressed and miss a goal. This is not the case, but for a holding midfielder, for the defenders, like, oh, I make a mistake, it doesn't matter. I go to defend good action, the next one, keeper. Oh, if I make a mistake, we can see the goal. And immediately he's there. You don't have a lot of them, otherwise, we don't have chance. It is the most important factor as a, a winning team to be stable all the time during 95 minutes. Tomorrow is going to suffer. There will be minutes that uh, mm -mm, they are not good. How you behave in that moment, that is the key. We've seen him uh, in, in recent games, for example, against Newcastle, his, his build-up play uh, becoming better. H how do you think he's evolving when it comes to how the, the all-round Erling? How? Uh, in, in our build-up? Yeah, in the, in the all-round, the, the, the stuff that's not just scoring goals. Yeah, it's, in, yeah, it's, it's important. So I don't like one player just to win the box to score goals. Of course, it's so important. It's the main thing. It's not what we need of him. But a part of that, when we are away from the opponent box and uh, he cannot uh, score a goal, uh, we need him to be involved in, you know, in, in be active in, in not just we have to take a look at him. Uh, he has to be involved in what we are doing. And, and this we can improve. But do you think he's improved much since he yeah. came? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Mm. He can improve better. Okay, thanks. Hi, Pep. We've just been speaking to Kevin before he came in. He's a player who's played a uh, consistently high level for you in, in your seven years here, uh, set really high standards for himself. How, how do you rate his form so far this season? It was a difficult season, I would say, for, for all of us. Me included for the World Cup, for many things, for uh, do it. So I'm not. I, I would say the same. I'm not going to discover Kevin. Kevin has the ability to do it. So what I would like, expect many times to him to go to the easy principles, do it well. He has an incredible ability to make an assist, to score goals, and be, see passes like um, you know anyone else. But always I believe they will increase and will get better when the simple things that don't lose the ball, the mobility, that incredible capacity to be active in the movement, the simple things do it again better and better. When this is going to happen, the rest will come along. I would not like to have the feeling that uh, it's like Erling. I don't want to just score goal goals and the rest I don't care. So he will score when we'll be involved in the game. In our game, we'll be involved. It means you are inside of the game, the ball is calm, you're going to put in the net. The Kevin is the same. When the sympathy you do perfectly, you are in the right moment, move outside, inside, when you have to attack the channels or whatever you do, or where you feel in that moment, the actions to create incredible passes that only him can find him, it will be easier, it will be better. Hi Pep, obviously the first leg was very tight. Um, Leipzig played here last year, they lost 6-3. A lot more end to end. What kind of game are you expecting? Different manager, long time ago. So I don't pay any attention about what happened there. So the first half we were better. The second half they were better. Uh, we we saw the game. We tried to figure out what we're going to do and try to 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 adjust few things that maybe can help us to have more control and play a little bit better. Is tomorrow night about you getting? as much control as, as possible rather than letting it be end to end. Always I believe the transition games always is a coin, you know. It can go in your favour or but it's a knockout game and maybe the game we need to break more the game, maybe don't. We'll see. At the end the game will dictate a little bit what you have to do. We'll see. 
IPAP Sky Italia. I was really impressed about what you said before the first leg, nothing will be enough. Uh, my first thought was about Messi. Before the World Cup, everyone saying, lots of people saying, he must win to complete his career. And for me, it was crazy. Um, so y you really think that the balance of your huge work here for the public opinion, uh, it's only about winning this cup or not? Because after the World Cup, people were still saying Maradona is better than Messi, for example. So you think for the public opinion, every, everything is about this cup? Yes. <laughs> Simply yes. Yes. And why? It's, it's strange, I think, because I, the there's lots of work <laughs> in these I years. I have a true public opinion. That doesn't mean that we change the time agree with that, but absolutely. Absolutely, we'll be judged for that competition. Yeah, definitely. Because since the day one arrived here in the first game in Champions League, they asked me when just arrived, landed here, sitting for the first time, are you are here to win the Champions League? I said, what? So I was manager for Real Madrid that this is not going to happen, but I could understand. But here, I don't know, but I accept it. So as much you go through, it's not going to change that. Yeah, definitely. Any last ones in English? Shall we take one or two in German? Hi Pep, um, good day. Christoph yeah. Nkunku and Xaver Schlager will miss the game. Um, how will that affect um, the game of the opponent tomorrow? And and what Kunku and sorry? Nkunku and uh, Schlager, central okay. midfield. Yeah. Uh, how will that, in your opinion, affect uh, the game of Leipzig? And uh, what kind of game do you expect starting at zero? I think they are so aggressive in the build up and the, in the high pressing. Uh, they have an incredible build-up with the both central defender use the keeper. They play eight players inside and two incredible white fullbacks. Like it's difficult when you close inside, they put outside to the fullbacks and they drop you. When you defend outside to don't arrive to the fullbacks, they have an extra two or three more players inside. Uh, that's why it's so difficult to control them. Uh, have to be in the right tempo, in the right moment, to do a good pressing, otherwise it will be so, so difficult. Of course, Nkunku is an exceptional player, but I think they leave this season without him and they have done it so far really, really, really well. So, of course, I expect a speed recovery again uh, for him. Um, yeah, and try to, you know, to find our spaces and our places to, you know, in our quality and our players to punish them. So. Hopefully, we had to defend because they are better, not because we have this mentality to defend. This thing is not going to happen. We go there, we have to win the game, and to win the game, we have to try it. And, and I think it will be a, a good game because they have a fantastic, a fantastic team. So I admire a lot Leipzig, what they have done. When I was in Munich, it was in the second division, so I could not face them. But since then, what they've done, I've seen so many, many years, it's really, really, really good. It's a stable club, and they do really, really good uh, things. So. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the, what they do.